I think the question is, do they have a spare post lying around? Is there a spare post? Because it's snapped, is it? It's just incredible. Macro, have you ever seen anything like this in all your years of playing football overseas? No, nope, I've got to tell you, Benny, this is a first. We were wondering about the store. The storm may be coming in and, and causing some delays, but a snapped goalpost is a, definitely a first. He's got plenty of tall timber waiting in the box. And he delivers to Michella, who buries it, but he is offside. And the post is at a very awkward angle here. We may have a bit of a delay in play. I think, he, as you said, Macro, I think he has broken the goal. I think they've actually broken the goal here. We could be in for an extended delay. It's currently just being tended to. Have you ever seen one of the sauce bottles blow onto the field, Macca? In all your time here? I've seen these sauce bottles for quite a few years. They, I hope they're anchored down well. well. Still, we wait to see if this goal can be fixed because it is a danger to the players. Good am stopping the watch. We're going to head downstairs. Glenn Lauder, have you got any further information? Yeah, it's uh, blowing an absolute gale down here. Benny, uh, good evening to you and congratulations on your A-League debut. As you can see, the post is uh, uh, back up to where it should be now. Uh, Tony Popovich is also uh, blowing up uh, about uh, Michella not being offside. The replay sort of indicated that uh, Andy Keogh might have been, but uh, Michella looked uh, OK. Uh, well, Macca, we are going to have an extended delay because the post is going to have to be replaced. So I'm not sure how long we're going to have to wait. We might head down to Glen Lauder shortly to find out the latest. We will go down. Glen? Yeah, Benny, uh, the groundsmen are madly running around now. That The bottom of the goalpost has actually broken. Um, so they're going to have to replace the goalpost. Uh, that could take around 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that uh, in football around the world. Uh, certainly not here in the Hyundai A-League, but uh, the groundsmen are... Well, I hope they can find a, a replacement upright um, to, to get us going again, because at the moment there's a bit of confusion down here and uh, the groundsmen are, are madly trying to find a replacement upright for this, uh, for this goal at the northern end of Central Coast Stadium. It's quite bizarre. Well, I think the question is, do they have a spare post lying around? Is there a spare post? Because it's snapped, is it? Yeah, they do have a spare post, um, as you do, just lying around. But uh, they're under the stadium, so basically there's a lot of storage. They keep, you know, posts for uh, Rugby League and Rugby Union and, and uh, obviously a spare football post as well. So. Look, if you're going to have uh, a game of football, you may as well carry around a spare set of posts, I guess. Um, that is the situation. Uh... Yeah, just incredible. Macra, have you ever seen anything like this in all your years of playing football <laughs> overseas? No, I've got to tell you, Benny, this is a first. We were wondering about the store. The storm may be coming in and, and causing some delays, but a snapped goalpost is a, definitely a first. Might be able to get that on uh, shootout. What was that this week? <laughs> Definitely. I think that'll be a starter for sure. We've had a 10 minute delay here. We've got a broken post after Thomas Lav Michella ran in, got caught in the back of the goal, and has snapped it. So that is why we have a 10 minute delay on New Year's Eve. Central Coast Mariners up against Perth Glory. The Mariners sitting last on the table. No wins from their opening nine matches. Both sides coming across to the bench, and Lord is going to find out. The latest from the fourth official, which is Jared Gillett tonight. And we'll see if the sides are going to head into the sheds. It looks as though this might be the case. Maybe taking a little longer than expected, Macca. Yeah, well, we might be watching the, the fireworks on the foreshore later as the game goes on at this rate. It's, uh, obviously, they've decided it's going to take a little bit longer to get this goal fixed. The question is, it's so windy at the moment. Can you actually uh, host fireworks when it is this windy? Can they be set off? I'm not a pyrotechnic expert, Ben, but uh, I'm sure they're all over it. Benny, they're currently looking for a piece uh, to fit into the bottom of the post. Um, if they can find that, Jared Gillett, the uh, fourth official, says that we'll be back up and running straight away. Now, if they can't find that, we could be in for a longer delay and, and possibly even postponement. We hope not. Uh, but the players have just gone back into the dressing rooms. Um, 
to have some water and, and maybe have a couple of team talks. Uh, uh, the referees are fine with that. Uh, we're hoping around about five to ten minutes, but if they can't find this piece of the post, then we could be in some real drama. They're still trying to find this piece, uh, and uh, we hope to get a resumption soon. In the meantime, um, I have got CEO of the Central Coast Mariners, Sean Millencamp, with me. Sean, thanks for updating us. Uh, what can you tell us about this delay and when we could get going again? Yeah, obviously unexpected to have the goal snap. Uh, we've checked it out. The best option is to get a temporary goal replacement coming in. We took a little while to check with FFA on the regulations, but I, I'm hearing that we're all good and uh, we'll see a temporary goal out here in about 10 minutes. So we'll be using the, the goals that they use at a training ground? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, but we're going to make sure that they're fitted in properly. And obviously, uh, it's not not ideal. Um, what will the club have to do from here on in? Yeah, of course, we'll uh, have to check the processes that, that's been happening here. Uh, the venue is run by council, so we'll work closely with them about how to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Good evening and welcome back to Central Coast Stadium. As you can see, the temporary goalpost just being put in place after Tom Michella fell into the original goal and snapped the post. Daniel McBrain is with me in commentary this evening. Maka, as you said, have you ever seen anything like this? Never in all my years in football have I seen a goal post snap from a player running into the net, but as I've seen plenty of people on social media saying, only in the A-League, but we get all kinds of things here, and obviously uh, not a great start to the game for the Mariners, so probably in their eyes might have been a blessing to try and regroup and reassess and get everyone's head in the game but Perth Glory still in the change room and for them they came out of the blocks a million miles an hour so the last thing they really wanted so they're probably all in there at the moment saying to Michella what did you do that for? Well Maka we're going to head back downstairs to Glenn Lauder they're actually changing the posts at the other end of the ground now tell us more Glenn. Yeah they are Ben well basically FIFA regulations say that both goalposts have to be exactly the same dimensions so uh, to make sure that that is the case the temporary goalposts are going up at the other end as well now I just spoke to Kurt Ams the referee he said we're not unhappy but uh, we just want to wait until they're completely put up before we uh, decide whether they're good enough um, to be used uh, you know for the rest of the game. Uh, now I know Jared Gillette the uh, fourth official stopped his clock at 11 minutes 32 so what are we at now 35 30. Uh, we're looking at uh, 24 minutes of time added on uh, in the first half already. That's going to be a lot more. Um, they're saying they're hopeful of being up and ready to go in 10 minutes. I can't see that happening uh, because there's some volunteers down putting those goal posts up. Uh, these guys are still working on bolting um, these posts down and taking the, the wheels off to make them, um, you know, less unsafe basically there's also a lot of um, metal that hold them up that uh, you wouldn't usually find on uh, regulation goalposts so um, there's a lot of confusion down here Kurt Ams is uh, monitoring the situation closely uh, with the match commissioner uh, Perth are back out on the field now the Central Coast are back out on the field now but uh, the Mariners are heading uh, back towards the dugout no, no doubt for more uh, team talks with Mike Mulvey so uh, an unbelievable situation here Sean Mielenkamp the Mariners CEO has been on the phone to the FFA and hopefully we can get a resolution uh, very very soon but at the moment it's a waiting game to see how these posts uh, look once they're fully erected. And it seems as though we are going to finally get back underway. Ten and a half minutes on the clock. It's good we started this match early at 7 a, at 7 p.m. And it's basically a usual kickoff, isn't it? Night time about 7.55. Here we go. We are back underway at Central Coast Stadium after a 45-minute delay.